Good evening, everyone. This is our deck number four for the general reading. Your life right now. So let's have a look. What's happening to you right now? Okay. So we have you fighting with your problems, being very active right now, and most likely working very hard, working very hard, wasting energy, using energy a lot, like very heavy, uh, lots of responsibilities, we can say. It seems like, you know, well will this end? It's really, really, um, I think, challenging here. Now, what are your biggest challenges right now? We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So it seems like there is a person. It can be that you yourself are feeling you yourself, or actually, I pre selected the Queen of Cups. Uh, it's you. So we have either. Uh, worries you have worries and fears very strong fears like even nightmares or, or dreams about uh, those difficulties how will they be resolved you know it can be about the, the same work it can be about uh, some financial things and uh, I think you're struggling uh, to keep yourself motivated and positive right now you know, it's very, I think these thoughts, these, you know, this like tiredness or fatigue, it feels like very, um, like it's very hard for you to right now think something positive. So it can be actually a hormone thing, you know, for females sometimes, <clears throat> or it can be something, you know, maybe intuitive, you're picking up something and you're feeling very uneasy. Many people right now are feeling very uneasy and uh, unsure about their lives because of, you know, what's happening in the world maybe or just like that. So what are your thoughts right now? So like you feel uh, worried about uh, a person like um, some sort of dealings with authority figures and a person who was causing a lot of trouble, lots of worries, can be financially, like trying to um, ask money from you or something like that. And there's some sort of authority feeling coming like uh, maybe it's a relative who's asking for money or maybe it's some sort of pending court case um, or some taxes or bills you need to pay so it's coming like that sort of worry you know maybe it's some um, law or, or even things that are going on in your country for example the government things who knows now what are the things that you're dealing with right now seven of swords okay so right now it's some uncertainty it's uncertainty that you're dealing with something um, that's really new and unexpected but at the same time also kind of insulting and which makes you feel very unsure for some people it can be children children who don't listen for example and there's this sense of you know something that doesn't make sense something someone is lying someone is doing anyway and you don't you cannot control that And lots of changes, lots of changes maybe, um, shift in 
locations, shift in some sort of traveling, it's about work, it's about routine, it's about um, something like that. Now, let's see what happened to you in the past. So we have that uh, in the past something really nice happened. Um, you know, maybe uh, you had a good idea about some work or you earned something or someone said a compliment to you about how great you are doing and where you are. Maybe something um, very good happened relating to your child, you know, things like that. Um, what will happen in the future? So we again have a very important uh, some sort of uh, situation happening, uh, something legally, something financially, something about what you've been looking for. It can point to, for example, you'll go for a job interview or you get some sort of important letter written to you by uh, someone. It can be that you even will receive some sort of benefit or, or, or money from someone. It's going to be like a, a change in situation completely. And I think you'll become richer and happier because of this change. You know, and I feel that this will be either sent by law or it's going to be by government, you know. So by law, I mean, like, from the court or something. Something that, that is uh, official. Now, what is happening at your home and in your family? Cards seem to be uh, kind of good. It shows, well, uh, a household, it shows your family members, people are getting along very well, uh, but this card can indicate either that someone is maybe um, ill in the house or maybe that uh, simply it's a very peaceful kind of household where you are right now. Um, you know, maybe it's you, your mother, or maybe it's you your, and your spouse or, or something like that. Maybe you and your two children, you know, and you're kind of, right now it's a very quiet period. You know, everybody's doing their own thing in their own rooms. So not much activity going on. Now let's have a look at uh, outside the home. Well, lots of people um, you know and meet. It can be that um, you're a really social person, you know, and uh, there are lots of acquaintances that you have, lots of neighbors, lots of, you know, you talk to many, many people, and basically when you get out of the house, uh, there are lots of, lots of people that you think about and talk about and talk with. So we have that sort of situation also um, again maybe because of the ending of you cannot enjoy shopping maybe right now or you cannot enjoy something like that so it talks about maybe a little bit of loneliness, you know, when it comes to maybe you cannot meet your friends uh, that much. So it's pointing to a little bit of loneliness. It can, because you cannot enjoy the same activities like before, that sort of situation. What about your career and work? Okay, we have a situation where you kind of don't want to work, but you have to work because someone is forcing you, the king of wands. Uh, king of wands usually does, don't, doesn't like excuses, they're not very empathic, they're not very sensitive to other people, you know, they themselves are not sensitive towards themselves. So it feels like you're forced to work. 
uh, like you're being bound by someone like a slave you know you have to go there do it although you don't want to but you're afraid of this person this king of wands maybe it's your boss maybe it's um, can be that you're kind of enjoying as well your some part of you thinks this very stable thing that you always wanted to do so you're kind of enjoying it what about your love life well lots of lots of drama when it comes to a love life like someone you split with someone they left and then they were trying to get back to you you know the person kind of left but they but they want to come back and it's kind of again a yo-yo sometimes they're here sometimes they're not here and i feel like First, they were dramatic in leaving and splitting up, and then again they're kind of back and begging, wanting to come back. So, so something like that, you know, like you're trying to maneuver it and you're trying to find out the right uh, solution here. Uh, you know, you kind of don't want them to leave, or maybe they are not decided. So there's some sort of doubt about what's happening so let's have a look about uh, your spirituality it's happening in your spiritual mm, spiritually well i feel like you're a very psychic intuitive person who might have interest in the occult and things like that uh, meditations and all that maybe some psychic abilities but um there is some 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 annoyance when it comes to spirituality okay so and let's have a look at your health well the health uh, seems to be okay although there seems to be kind of um, something too active um water water is too active um so we can talk about Um, things I can't even explain physically maybe something hormone related um, things like that you know here it's less grounded <clears throat> more watery um, it can be for for women it can be something hormone related or you know like kidney and and all that something maybe what you eat how it affects your water in, in the in the your, you know your blood or, or something like that so other than that i don't see any big worries nor something like very important that you need to know about it as everything is kind of normal But it seems like maybe it's like it might, uh, it's not very, very serious, but it seems like sometimes you get really worried and annoyed about it. Um, and it's really uncomfortable. So, yeah, you can. Well. Simply, I think when you have your checkup next time, you can simply ask the doctor what to do with these things. Um, so it can be anything, yeah. And I don't specialize in health reading, so I will not uh, talk more. But from experience, I know that the cups is.
can be something with hormones something that regulates your moods even you know and it's of course periods can be for females so okay now the question is what is advice for you right now so whatever problems <clears throat> you might be having some sort of problems let's say right now everything seems to be not going right yeah like um money is less or there is like fear that it will become less maybe you don't earn that much maybe you feel the health is not that good you know maybe you feel like overall mood is also not that good but um but it says uh, be patient you know and uh, don't worry about it time will uh, heal everything time will change everything and it's a question of time and it points to financial security stability and some sort of safety so things will get better uh, to that norm normalcy level where everything will be normal here it's kind of not like you, you're not gonna win a lottery but this oh, this card uh, is gonna be just normal just like satisfying secure the, the feeling of safety will be there so that's it and i feel it's more talking about your finances it's talking about your it's very important to keep your uh stability and sanity kind of in the situation so this was our reading number four Thank you for watching this video and I do hope that this resonated, that it seemed like you're watching about your own life. And please leave uh, your comments in the comment section below so that we can improve and learn better. Bye-bye.